Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today I will talk about the full moon that will happen in the sign of Gemini on the 8th of December 2022 at 16 degrees and one minute. And I will start talking about it a little bit in general, what to expect with this full moon in Gemini. And then I will proceed to all the signs, okay? So I recommend you to check your sun sign and your rising sign. But if you want, you can also check your moon sign, okay? This is a general reading, so please take that into account. I also do private readings. You find my email in the description box below. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's start and check out what we can expect during this uh, full moon that will happen in the sign of Gemini which rules the third house and is related to communication it's related to your siblings it's related to transportation short trips right and uh, the way you convey your words but also it's about studying and processing information as gemini rules uh, the planet of or mercury rules gemini right and <clears throat> We have Mars uh, retrograde in the sign of Gemini in conjunction. So next to the sign of the moon <laughs> or next to the moon. Sorry. And um, things that have been frustrating you regarding the areas that I just mentioned. So siblings, transportation. So expect maybe you want to do a double checkup with your car with your motorcycle because something you know i don't want you to get an accident or anything you know but this is astrology and i read the stars so yeah check out if you feel there is something off with your vehicle go check it out also a uh, third house is neighbors so some of you will feel frustrated or have some type of argument with the neighbors and the thing is that we not only have Mars retrograde together with this full moon, but we also have um, Mercury squaring Jupiter. So saying more than you would like to say, right? Because Jupiter is axis and square is like, I don't know when to stop. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sharing too much information and this can be worked against you. Okay. And then we have also... Um, Jupiter squaring Venus, so an over axis in love, showing love and affection. Mm -hmm. um, and Venus is together with Mercury, okay? So there is some sense of it comes from a good heart that you want to communicate something, but with Mars retrograde, it might set off some people around you. So be aware what you. Uh, release on this date when it comes to information regarding to a company uh, keep in mind the emails that you're sending out for example like <laughs> like try not to trigger any people but at the same time what I usually say is that with Mars retrograde there is something that has been bothering you for a while and most likely it's just gonna like blur out <laughs> it's almost like a word vomit right that needs to come out but with Venus and Mercury, there's also a big chance that things can be resolved. So sometimes there needs to be an argument in order to resolve something. So <laughs> don't take this the harsh way, you know, but I like to uh, show you the different aspects that can happen or things that can happen with these placements. We have a very strong Neptune squaring Venus, uh, the sun and the moon right so there is some type of illusion as well like maybe you don't see as clear as you wish you would some situation okay so maybe someone can give you more insight in why something is happening why there is frustration so a, a little bit of clarity but there is a sense of uh illusion however neptune is often right when it comes from a strong intuition so it's not always foggy and you know not clear when you have a very strong connection to your intuition then it means a uh, connection with your higher self and listening to kind of your gut feeling about a certain uh, situation we still have uh, the north node together with uranus so it's keep um 
it's still in conjunction so it's to keep like shaking up things so you go to your destiny right so where stars in your chart and i also made a video about uh, the overview of 2023 check it out because may is a massive month for uh the sign of taurus wherever that is in your chart because it will align with jupiter which is freaking amazing <laughs> i'm looking forward to that so yeah check out that video so you know more about it what else can i tell you i mean there's a trine with chiron so there's a massive um way you can heal yourself around this full moon so it has to do about some kind of insecurity or some type of i'm not good enough will turn into i can do that this is something i told myself i couldn't do but i actually can right um and sometimes your environment as well can influence you and this could be something coming up around this um you know full moon as well like uh, is my environment like good for me? Yes or no, right? Um, also, Gemini is the twins, choices, right? It's related to the lover's card in uh, tarot. So there could be um, two choices or two paths, two options coming your way. Um, and you could be like, <laughs> what do I do now? I have two options, you know? Um, and I don't know which which to take. So you have to listen to your intuition in order to make a certain decision, right? So yeah, you're going back to like the past, uh, past feelings are coming up regarding a situation. And soon I'm gonna start with the signs so you know where your Gemini is and which area could come up, right? <laughs> but yeah. It's not all negative. Sometimes we have to clean up stuff in order to go to the next level, right? So I don't see this as a very bad full moon. I just point out the things that could present itself. And, you know, there's going to be a massive cleanup and you're going to like release your body from certain frustrations and you're going to speak things through. You're going to harmonize things. So it's all very positive. But yeah. December is kind of a month, you know, later on, we're going to have Pluto also joining Venus and Mercury. So there is going to be some truth speaking and a lot of things needs need to come to the surface. And how can we move on with a clean slate in January? We can do that when we, um, yeah, we're going to process all the anger that we have had stuck in our body things that we've been suppressing for a long time and for me personally a lot of things from my past came up a lot of things from my from my youth a lot of traumas that i had you know <laughs> people seem always smiling and having so much fun but i had my own past with a lot of traumas and um i think that would really drew me into astrology and you know tarot and these kind of things besides you know <laughs> seeing a little bit more than the surface it was also a calling because i had to work so much on myself and i felt so inspired to help other people overcome also their obstacles and uh, it comes from a place of understanding and compassion and you know lately i had to come to terms for like even certain things myself i'm getting <laughs> It's so almost like a little emotional to talk about it, but yeah, there were a lot of things that I had to uh, to do with my own life, and I know I'm not really very open about my emotions, also on my channel. Um, at some point, I will <laughs> spill everything, um, but yeah, right now that's not possible. But yeah, with my moon in the twelfth house in Scorpio, I sometimes have trouble with my emotions, um, but definitely. There are many, <laughs> in case you were wondering. So let's start with the signs, you know. Uh, let's start with Aries. So my lovely Aries, let me get your chart up. So, oh, it's already there. So 8th of December, 2022. Gemini is in your third house. So you're going to have this double <laughs> effect of this full moon in Gemini. Um, some of you are going to take a trip. You're going to go to a place where you've already been. There could be some arguments, some irritations coming up with neighbors. 
with your siblings like what are you talking about blah 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 like things that have been stuck need to come out <laughs> and uh, the sun and venus are in your ninth house of traveling so again could be on a trip where you have some type of realization some of you are um picking up a, a course that you were willing to do or like something you maybe didn't finish like you read it but not really finished so you're gonna finish something start a new study maybe you're ready to teach something maybe that is your frustration like listen i, I studied all these years and i'm not teaching my gifts and the things that you would like to do um yeah we still have on the last degree jupiter so close to your ascendant or to your sun so very soon you're gonna feel so uplifted you right now are closing down this massive spiritual cycle it's like you have had so many good insights uh, about yourself about who you are and your intuition has truly grown like some of you have been having more dreams more it's like your psyche opened up and you started realizing wait a minute this physical world is that all there is <laughs> so you you made a lot of realizations the north node is with uranus in your second house so definitely it's like you had a lot of focus on making money um it's been a little bit unstable so a lot of money coming in money going out and you're like where does that leave me but uh, it's like you are starting to increase your self-confidence of the things that you know you can do but maybe in the past you were doubting right Chiron in the first house trining the sun in the ninth house so you're really starting to change your belief systems about who you are and um what you're actually capable of so yeah really really well <laughs> really well really well done um yeah because i'm thinking at the same time to draw you like one card do i want to draw you one card yeah i have this okay Lenormand. i want to close it with one card for you okay it fell out look at that areas i'm we're freaking believable you have the card of clovers which is obviously luck and look at the number number two right this is almost like second house so be aware like money is coming your way um yeah it's like a lot of good things are unfolding for you so <laughs> enjoy it so this is my message for you areas um if you like this video subscribe to my channel so you help me out and i keep helping you out with presenting you the new forecast uh, i also do private readings you find my email in the description box below and i hope to see you next time thank you so much and all the best for you and let's move on to the next sign of taurus so my lovely taurus what is happening for you during this Blue moon in Gemini, which is conjuncting Mars retrograde, opposing the sun, fun stuff. <laughs> and for you, this Gemini is in your second house. So be aware this has to do with your money situation, right? There might be some frustration when it comes to your money. So maybe you're a bit angry because you feel like you're working really hard and you don't get the money or the salary or the clients or, you know, the money that you you deserve actually you do deserve so yeah there might be some frustrations with that uh but there could also be like old habits coming up like you know um i do i value myself enough should i raise my prices like if this anger comes up like i should earn more i should this more work on your internal system like Put some great new affirmations there, Taurus. Like, I deserve happiness and money and abundance, right? I deserve that. So use this frustration and anger to build yourself up, right? Could be that someone wants to actually support you financially and you're a little bit annoyed with that. You're like, 
but I can earn my own money. <laughs> it's like, I see some of you definitely say like, I can earn my own money. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Okay. So I am, um, that's, I mean, that's very uh, good of you. Um, but yeah, so see what comes up. Uh, it's it's a lot about belief systems as well. So let me, my screen fell away. So yeah, it's a lot about your belief systems about yourself and what you are thinking that you are worth worthy, okay? Like a lot of you also have like an extra income stream, like you have two, two, two things that might give you or present money to you. Um, yeah, so for some of you, it's even could be an inheritance coming in. Um, and we have the North Node still with Uranus. So you're keeping, keep trying new ways of finding your authentic self. You're finally ready to rebel, to step outside of your usual patterns. You're like, no, no, no. I'm going to do things different now. I'm not the old Taurus that I used to be. I'm going to excel in the things that I want to do. Wait a minute. I deserve this. I deserve that. So, you know, if you know you work hard because it's not like, hey, let's sit down and earn that money. No, if you work hard and you know you, your worth, you deserve that. Okay. So, um, yeah, there is Neptune in the 11th house and it's squaring the sun and the moon in the second and the eighth house. So, don't lend money to friends at this point <laughs> because I'm not sure at this point you're going to get it back uh, and if this person really needs it. So listen to your own intuition about this. This is just a reading from the stars. Your intuition uh, is above what I'm saying, okay? Always keep that in mind. Um, Saturn has been kind of repressing your like it's it's like some of you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders like maybe you you actually started having a better job but it came with so many responsibilities that you feel like you don't have enough spare time or you work a lot for for like the money you receive so it, it kind of feels like that there's a little bit of unfairness there uh jupiter is wrapping up your 11th house thing so in the last uh one or two years or so you probably have met new people that really supported you in your life uh very spiritual people for a lot of you and also a new community uh, a lot of you want to be with really like a spiritual community or creative people that really mean something for you in your life and that can uplift you and also a big part of it was having fun doing fun stuff okay so let me get you a card to close down this reading. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Because I tend to talk a lot. <laughs> and sometimes less is more, right? <laughs> All right, so I see this Mace Runner. So it's almost like the past few years, you felt like you were in this cycle of this like money cycle where you were like, didn't really get out of like you would like to earn more but it seems like soon there will be a way out you need to get rid of this belief system and this frustration that has been holding you back so keep focusing on what you want and you will get exactly where you need to be so keep going keep persisting setter is kind of making you work very hard right and if you don't have a job, it could still be related to money, right? Organizing your budget. How do you, maybe you're depending on a, on a partner and you feel frustrated about that and you're thinking about earning your own money or uh, restructuring your savings. So it could have many meanings, right? If you're uh, in your uh, pension, I think it's called like retirement, uh, it could still be like, how much do I spend a month? I've spent too much. Do I have enough? So you're going to have a budget to organize all these things. So this is my message for you, my lovely Taurus. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below how this resonates with you. And uh, I also do private readings. You find my email in the description box below. And uh, I'm ready to move on to the next sign of Gemini. 
So, Gemini, this full moon will affect you majorly. <laughs> And not only because the full moon is there, but also because Mars retrograde is in your first house. And it has been like, it's like this weird thing when you feel like you have to run and do things, but you're being hold, held back. So it's like, you want to run, but, but you can't really move forward. This is what Mars retrograde is doing in your first house. This full moon is lightening up things that frustrate you about maybe your own identity. Like, what have you been repressing? What have you not shown to the world? What uh, authentic expression are you ready to show people? And maybe people you are in a relationship with, a business partner or a romantic partner. Are you frustrated with someone or are you frustrated with yourself? Have you not been honest about something? Do you need to talk about something with a partner or an ex-partner, right? Maybe you broke up with someone, you need to talk things through. Uh, if you're single, you need to... It's almost like you get this frustration and you're going to look at your patterns in relationships and see why you attracted the people you have attracted. So this is something that might come up. Uh, Jupiter is rounding up its <laughs> a time in Pisces, right, in the 10th house. So there could be like a last boost of luck coming in for your career, uh, Gemini. So it could be like maybe a promotion or a raise or just um, a last appreciation. Maybe you win some award for whatever it is that you have done, right? Um, make sure to not overshare around this time. Um, because uh, people can use it against you around this time. And I don't want to scare you, but, you know, we have this Neptune fogging things up. We have Mercury conjuncting Pluto later in the month. So be aware with what you share, um, with who and what, okay? Soon there will be a time for more fun, which is really, really great. Something you need, something you want, because Jupiter will go into your 11th house. Let's get you a card. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm getting like the birth house and the number three. So you're going back into balance, like finding balance within yourself. It's almost like some of you feel like you have to focus a bit more on yourself as well um, and enjoy the fruits of your labor kind of things, right? Um, so this could also represent like your family. Yeah, it's like everybody's looking away. So maybe there have been some struggles in either your own family, you know, your, your relationship with your own kids or your own parents. Uh, there were some disagreements. So go inward and see what you can discuss about the situation and how you can resolve it. The North Node is still in your 12th house together with Uranus. It is kind of making you a bit restless once you are behind the scenes at home. And you also can have a lot of visions or a lot of uh, ideas flowing through you. So write it down because maybe you will execute that later. But definitely you need to also learn how to rest because some of you have been running around doing a lot of things and yeah it's like you need some rest and calm down a little bit to in order to recharge and come back to yourself okay so this is my message for you my lovely gemini's if you like this video subscribe to my channel leave a comment below how this resonates with you and let's move on to the next sign of cancer so cancer for you we have a gemini in in the 12th house on the 8th of december 2022 and you know for you it's been a real challenge to rest your mars is in your 12th house it's locked 12th house is your subconscious so you might be angry not sure why with mars retrograde there this is your anger of your subconscious maybe something that happened to you in the past might come up there is a lot of karma that wants to be resolved when it comes to taking action 
maybe there are past things that come up that you're like i should have done that i should have taken action on this relationship or um this project or with this um i don't know you you regret some actions you haven't taken but it's time to let that go and to forgive yourself cancer the full moon is uh lightening up your 12th house so this is a great time to journal write down things that um need to be processed write down things that you want to process from your past so you can start a whole new cycle when next year in march mars is going into your sign and bringing you back alive back with a lot of energy but for now don't spend all your energy it's not fully there so it's like you need more time to recharge than usual so don't push too far okay so we have the sun obviously it's opposing mars retrograde and the moon so there might be some obstacles with work as well like some frustrations like you know some colleagues some frustrations with colleagues coming up and also for some of you it's definitely resting also regarding your health take it easy rest and listen to your body cancer this is very 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 important okay so nurture yourself uh, be sweet to yourself work with your routines do sports but don't overdo it like you know do some sports that are a little bit more calm maybe or swimming or yoga or something that's flowy but not too demanding this is not the time <laughs> Um, Jupiter is in your ninth house, so maybe some of you are definitely going on some type of holiday. Um, or you've been studying something spiritual, right? Like, or some, you wanted to be some kind of teacher, right? Bringing forward some type of information, bringing forward your intuition, your talent as a healer, all these things. And Jupiter's soon gonna go back into areas backing up your career again, which has been a little bit on and off, not too great. So watch out for exhaustion and burnout around this time. Take a good rest, Cancer. This is my advice to you. Let me get to you a card. Close that, I'm just reading. Yeah, this is time to work on your spirituality. For some of you, sexuality, look at the rainbow. Accept yourself for the way you are. If not, this is also creativity. So accept your innate gifts, your spiritual journey. Yeah, come back into alignment with who you are. With who you are. What makes your life shine. And you need to go inward in order to express it outward when mars is stationing direct again okay so this is my message for you my lovely cancers if you like this video subscribe to my channel leave a comment below how this resonates with you i also do private readings um so yeah you find all the details in the description box below and i hope to see you next time bless you and uh, merry christmas let's move on to the next sign of leo Hello Leos, my lovely, lovely Leos. We have this full moon in Gemini in your 11th house, okay? Um, yeah, it's like you wanna have fun and go out, but some friends seem to frustrate you. Because <laughs> we have this moon in conjunction with uh, Mars retrograde and it's opposing your fifth house. So there's a few scenarios that this translates to some of you need to talk to some friends and resolve a situation this could or could not be related to money in some cases like you lend money to friends they don't give it back all the way around or you're just a little bit annoyed with someone giving you maybe the wrong advice or like yeah not being the friend that you wish they could be and coming into acceptance that maybe they will never be <laughs> so uh, the sun and venus are in the fifth house so you do feel very creative but it's almost like sometimes you feel a bit angry on yourself that you could do more or you could have more creative expression 
Um, yeah, maybe some friends have comments on your kids, the way you raise your kids. And you're like, wait a minute, who's the parent? <laughs> it's me. So yeah, these kind of things or an argument about, you know, do I want to have kids? Um, yeah, is that something that I would like to have? There's also some romantic situation that maybe your friends don't agree with your partner and that might come up and then you're like, yeah, is that any of your business? I'm not sure. So yeah, I don't want to say this is a negative full moon. It's just like some frustrations have to come out in order to be resolved. And this is definitely with Mars retrograde, like inner frustrations, they need to be released in order for you to move on when Mars stations direct. So it's very often something that's already bothering you. It's just been boiling up and like expressed. And we also have Mercury square uh, Jupiter, <laughs> which is like oversharing or saying something that maybe you wish you held back, but you're gonna say it. And this is for all the signs, right? Um, it's just in different areas of your life. This could also be related to, you know, some, I don't know, like maybe someone did a spiritual reading um, and they're going to tell you like, listen, this spiritual reader said this and that, and there will be a little bit of a conflict with that. Okay. North Node stays in your 10th house together with Uranus. So you're going to keep thriving when it comes to your career and you will thrive because next year is going to be insane. You have no idea, Leo, you're going to shine, shine, shine. Okay, I'm getting a female. So your friend could be a female. You could be dating a female. This could be a family member, your daughter, right? Mother. So there's someone you need to talk to. Yeah. And you know who that is, okay? So this is my message for you, my lovely Leos. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below how this resonates with you. And uh, I also do private readings. You find all the details in the description box below. And uh, I hope to see you next time, Leo. Keep thriving, keep succeeding. You're on your way to massive success. So <laughs> bless you. Let's move on to the next sign of Virgo. My lovely, lovely Virgos. We have this full moon in Gemini in your 10th house. So, <laughs> this can be, I mean, this is a fellow sign ruled by Mercury. So there could be some disputes coming up related to your work. Um, maybe something to do with colleagues or people that don't agree fully with what you're doing. By the end of the day, and this could most likely be family that are like, why you're choosing this job? Why you chose to do this? So there might be some arguments with family members related to you following your purpose. Virgo, stick to the purpose that you feel is true to your inner being. And this is the beauty of life. We are completely unique. All of us, we are completely unique. We are completely special and on our own. So nobody can decide what is good for you and what is not good for you. So yeah. Um, there's also something with a partner or a business partner for some of you, like, yeah, it's almost like you, you don't see your partner very clearly. There might be some, um, even maybe some arguments happening or you're saying over sharing something that maybe you didn't want to say. So be aware of oversharing around this time because we have Mercury squaring Jupiter. At the same time, Jupiter is rounding up the seventh house, ready to go back into Aries in the eighth house. For a lot of you, you've met a soulmate this year, or you have a very clear idea on what your soulmate is going to look like, what your soulmate is going to be. So some of you are, have gotten married this year or are, are getting married. But there's definitely some type of uh, expansion when it comes to your relationship. You either learned a lot from it or you went to the next level with your partner, right? 
uh, Mars retrograde there in the 10th house can also bring you a really uh, higher level of um, appreciation or more fame. I would almost say fame or uh, success in a project that you've done before with Mercury retrograde, right? Like you're picking up something from the past and maybe people have comments on that, but actually it's allowing you to thrive. It's allowing you to shine. Okay, it's falling on the ground. Just give me a moment here. Okay, I'm getting a mail. So it could be like some mails influencing you to, to repost something, to redo something. Could be in your work, but it could also be a male judging you in your family. Like, nah, would you do that? Would you not do that? There is some type of jealousy. Yeah. So be aware who you talk to and who you share secrets with. Could be that a partner is angry with you or someone is angry about a situation that happened. Yeah. Someone at work. So meditate, keep it calm <laughs> and things will uh, resolve itself. Okay. Well, not itself, but you know, let it pass time. And if you really have to talk about something, do so. So this is my message for you, my lovely Virgos. If you like this uh, video, subscribe to my channel. So I know you want to see many more videos. Um, also book a private reading with me. If you want to know more about your chart personally, I find all the details in the description box below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Virgo. I so appreciate you. Keep going and keep shining. So I'm ready to move on to the next sign of Libra. So Libra, this full moon is in the, in your ninth house in a fellow air sign, right? And it's conjuncting Mars retrograde in the ninth house. So this is all about a travel. So maybe you're traveling back to a location you've already been, revisiting a person maybe, or visiting a place for work. Maybe you need to travel to uh, the main office or something like this. Uh, some of you are definitely studying, restudying a subject that you have spent uh, time on before and you're like hey let's finish this stuff yeah so you would like to finish the study sorry i <laughs> i needed a little bit of a break um yeah so libra really uh jupiter is in your sixth house rounding up this uh this luck in work right in your routines in your health um, and is going back into the sign of Aries to give a little bit of a lucky boost to your relationships, okay? Um, the North Node is still in your eighth house together with Uranus. So there might be some like interest, for example, in astrology, uh, in the occult, but also you have experienced maybe some ups and downs when it comes to organizing your money or organizing money with a certain partner, right? Maybe you spoke up and you say like, listen, I wanna have my own bank account, let's have separate bank accounts, or let's, um, or maybe even some of you are trying an open relationship or something with more freedom, right? You're opening up your, uh, yeah, could be <laughs> your mind or your relationship, or you want to experience some type of freedom uh, when it comes to eighth house activities, could be money, it could be relationships, right? Um, yeah. So, uh, there could also be, um, if you're going on a holiday with your siblings, which for some of you is going to be the case that you're going to be, um, visiting a place with your siblings, there might be some arguments coming up or will be resolved, right? It's not always that cannot be resolved. Sometimes you have to speak up about a certain situation in order for it to be resolved. So let me get you a card. You're definitely in a study mode, Libra. You're ready to study. You're ready to pick up, maybe to finish like a degree, to get a certificate. You get the strength to finish something that you have worked on before. So I'm getting a ring. So commitment could be on the cards, could be commitment for your study, right? 
commitment with a partner so getting a higher commitment um yeah taking things to the next level you're going to for some of you you're just simply committing to yourself committing to your own spiritual growth which is absolutely lovely yeah we're having the number 25 on this card which represents seven and so you could be a life path seven as well uh but seven is also about spiritual growth seeing it from a both an intellectual and a spiritual perspective Saturn is in your fifth house, so some of you maybe have to take care of your kids. Um, you maybe feel like you have a little bit of a block when it comes to your creativity. Like usually it comes more natural and now you're like, eh, I'm not sure, am I worthy of that? And some of you, if you're single, you're like dating. Nope, not now. I don't feel like I want to date anyone. Um, I will not settle for anything less than what I deserve. Okay, so these are things that could happen during this 8 uh, December full moon in Gemini for my lovely Libra. So this is my message for you. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below how this resonates with you. And uh, I also do private readings. Traffic is a bit loud, sorry. <laughs> Please, uh, yeah, you find my details in the description box below and uh, maybe one day I'll speak to you. So thank you so much, Libra. Let's move on to the next sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio, what we have in store for you, or what the universe has in store for you, for this full moon in Gemini on the 8th of December, 2022. So uh, Gemini for you is in your eighth house. Eighth house has to do with uh, other people's money. It's about repetitive cycles that you, Scorpio, are very much aware of because your sign rules the eighth house, right? Um, you're someone that likes to talk about deep stuff, right? Gemini in the eighth house is like, let's talk things through. Um, but right now there is some like Mars retrograde. So you might feel like frustration like towards uh, maybe a sexual events that happened in your past. Maybe you need to talk with someone. This could also be related to money, right? Because it's opposing the sun and uh, also Venus is in the second house. So there could be some uh, argument about money or about an inheritance and about people trying to figure out how much money you make, Scorpio. It's really strange. Like, how do you make your money? Or maybe you're getting a lot of money suddenly and people are like suddenly with their noses up your business like <laughs> how much money do you make Scorpio how do you do that how do you you know you make it seem so effortless but you know when people know real Scorpios nothing is effortless you just very strong personality you make it seem effortless but it's not <laughs> okay so keep thriving, keep working. Chiron has been in your sixth house for a while, kind of making it hard to stick to routines. Like some of you felt like it was hard to wake up a certain time to go to bed a certain time. Like it's just been a little bit uh, difficult. And also Chiron there could mean that you had to deal with some health issues. Some health issues came up. Um, and these health issues could also have to do with what you think about yourself as in worth, worthiness, because we have the sun in your second house trining uh, Chiron in the sixth house. So you could heal a lot about your health through affirmations of self-worth. I deserve this. I've been working hard towards this. I deserve abundance and money. And some of you are making money through teaching and sharing information okay so past traumas can come up around this time that um are going to like you they need healing right you will be confronted with some past events that you carry angry about it could be about someone's death like the way someone died and you're angry about this whole situation how people dealt with it the people involved uh, this could be someone from the past or someone right now but these things might come up and you're like oh, what's going on uh, the north node and uranus are in your seventh house right 
still kind of disrupting um, your relationships. It's like you feel like you need a lot of space right now in relationships. Some of you have long distance relationship um, or dating someone that has uh, Aquarian qualities. And I got a comment from someone that's like, you don't know Scorpio, we don't like Aquarians. You don't know your personal chart. Uranus rules Aquarius. <laughs> So someone might have a few planets in Aquarius, but also Taurus, you know. Um, astrology is much more complicated than just that. So, fifth house, Jupiter, rounding up this house. Some of you uh, ha are pregnant, congratulations, expecting. Some of you have been working on a lot of creative projects that, uh, you know, are taking off, like... Jupiter is rounding up its way to the sixth house, backing up this difficulty with health and your work. So yeah, it's like you're getting your last few rewards in the house of romance. So you might meet someone new if you're single, uh, be out and about, have lots of fun. But also this is a time to spend with your kids, have a lovely time with them and, you know, spend this December month. But this December, it's about rounding up a lot of things. Um, things you're angry about, things need to be resolved in order to start January with a fresh perspective and a fresh mind. So this is my message for you, my lovely Scorpios. Wait a minute, I did a card for everyone. I should not skip you before I close down. All right, so I don't know what this is called in English, but it's this uh, attraction. Like, can you help me out in the comments below? Like what this is like this thing that's going around but for me this feels like you see how you're on a rainbow you're going out of these cycles that have kept you stuck this eclipse like pulled you out of a cycle that you that holds you back and now it's time to move forward it feels like you had a long time where you kind of felt stuck in a situation and you didn't know what to do when mars goes direct it's like you're speeding off you're gonna go real fast and uh, you're going to thrive so <laughs> keep thriving keep being amazing scorpio don't let people get you out of alignment be strong be you be authentic and you're gonna be just fine so thank you so much for watching um subscribe to my channel if you like this video and you want to see many more of them and also i do private readings you find my email in the description box below hope to see you next time Thank you. I super appreciate you. And let's move on to the next sign of Sagittarius. So, Sag, obviously, this full moon in Gemini is going to affect you and your relationships. And it has been affecting your relationships for a while because this moon is in conjunction with Mars retrograde, which has been happening in, that, in your seventh house for a while. Okay? Frustrations with your partner have been coming up, maybe some arguments, right? Some arguments had to happen in order to be resolved. They haven't happened yet and you feel they're coming up. They're like close to <laughs> come out. Very likely they will come out around this full moon. Also because we have Mercury squaring Jupiter, which is like <laughs> oversharing. Uh, it's very hard to hold back. Jupiter is in your fourth house of family, so it could also be something with your family or your partner and your family, how you mix up. Maybe they are trying to get involved in your relationship, like trying to share their opinions and you're like, ah, don't get involved. This is my situation. This is my thing. Okay. Um, yeah, the sun and Mercury and Venus are in your sign. Also, happy birthday, Sagittarius. I don't want to forget. Happy, happy birthday. Uh, when your sun is in your sign, this is an amazing time to manifest. So write down a list of the things you would like to have in your life. And, you know, when you blow the candle, make the wish of the things that you would like to have. Okay. Um, yeah. North Node with Uranus stays in the sixth house. And we'll keep uh, putting a limelight on your work. Could be a bit unstable. Um, some of you uh, started freelancing or working with, um, I almost want to say unreliable hours. Or like, you know, open hours. 
are working remotely so there might be some instability in work but at the same time with this freedom you might uh, find the fulfillment that you really want to have right um Kyren is for now alone in your fifth house it's trining the sun in your first house so there is something related to your kids for example, to romance in your life or your creative expression that you're now healing. Your belief system about like, uh, I'm not good enough, for example, to create something. You're going to heal that. You're going to actually maybe go for some idea that you had before. Um, yeah, it could also be with kids, like maybe your kid... Uh, there was some illness or you had to take care of your kid like a lot and it's starting to heal or you're starting to see how you can support your kids better to be there for them right um but yeah this is really lightening up your house of relationships so see what you can heal what you can discuss without oversharing and finding ways to deal with it in a calm way Oh, the, the card flew out. I'm getting key. So I feel like very soon, Sagittarius, you will find the key to a new destiny. It's almost like it could be a new job. You're getting out of this cage. Can you see? This is like a cage. And you're getting out of this cage. It's almost like you felt someone locked you up. This could be a relationship or family member or something. But you had the key all along to decide what to do. Okay? So this is my message for you. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comments. Also subscribe to my channel so I know you want to see many more of these videos. And um, I do private readings as well. You find my email in the description box below. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your love, your support, your enthusiasm. What can we do without our lovely fire signs of Sagittarius that brings sunshine into this world so thank you so much let's move on to the next sign of Capricorn so first of all Capricorn happy happy birthday for you early sign Capricorns um, yeah this is a good time to make wishes to let the universe know what it is exactly that you would like to have what is a wish that you would like to have come true um, you know, this is why you blow a candle on the cake to spread this wish into the world. And it's also because your sun is on your natal sun, right? Okay, full moon in Gemini is happening in your sixth house of routines, work, uh, health. And uh, for you right now, Capricorn, it's important uh, around this full moon to have a rest, right? So... You have to find ways to balance work, routines, and have rest. Some of you are having very vivid dreams as well, like prophetic dreams out of nowhere. And you're like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> so you could have vivid dreams, but also there might be some arguments at work. And you have to really calm down, come back to yourself. And when you regain the strength, you can come back to work. So even, you know, I don't want to say you have to call in sick, but if you feel like uh, the tension is too much, sometimes you need a day for yourself to come back to the situation and to see it from a different perspective. This is not only you with someone else, this could be someone else with you as well. Everybody has Mars retrograde at this time. This full moon is heightening up certain situations, okay? So, yeah, communication in work could be an email that you send, could be some, something you said. So make sure to be aware what you say to who. There is a huge, um, like, December is a month of truth speaking, but also of, like, people sharing your secrets. So be aware of that. Um, Jupiter is rounding up your third house, moving soon to the fourth house, right? Into Aries backing up your Chiron so you know it could be that your fa family situation has been difficult you have to take care of a family member or your living situation is not as great as it could be 
and you know soon jupiter end of december will go back into areas but for now it's rounding up the third house so you could be finishing up a study that you've been fo focusing up uh, it's like you were really willing to soak up a lot of information your money is still a little bit like tight so watch out with overspending and keep working to get the salary that you want to have but this full moon is a lot about resting and not overdoing things okay Alrighty, the moon right the moon some of you can't sleep or have trouble sleeping or feeling overwhelmed with emotions yeah so you know like it would be good to do some hype notices or some um meditation before sleeping yeah i hear like insomnia like some of you are struggling with insomnia or anxiety and this will has been stronger when it came to mars retrograde because you know the sixth house in gemini is um lungs it's about breathing so you, your breath could be like <gasps> like high up or yeah it's like some kind of headache or anxiety uh and this is also due to sometimes you don't speak up the things you would like to say and then it comes out in one go so do some breathing exercises like i don't know wim hof or something like this that's gonna bring you back into alignment and that's gonna help you a lot so this is my message for you my lovely capricorns if you like this video subscribe to my channel leave a comment below how this resonates with you i also do private readings so if you want to know more about you and your sign sorry for the traffic and yeah you can find the details in the description box below and thank you so much once again happy birthday for you early capricorns you know end of the month I see you, I'm sending you a lot of blessings and uh, speak to you next time. Thank you so much. Let's move on to the next sign of Aquarius. So my lovely Aquarius, how are you doing? <laughs> this full moon in Gemini for you will be in your fifth house and fifth house is related to children, creative expression, it's related to romance, and it's opposing the sun in your 11th house, but also the sun is opposing Mars retrograde. So there is a kind of a frustration maybe with your friends, some disruptions in your friend groups, or maybe your children related to your friends, like your friends don't like your kids, your kids don't like your friends. Your friends have comments on, on your creations and you're like, Hmm. or maybe the person you're actually dating your friends are like is that the right person for you and you're like mm, who decides that <laughs> me i decide that so stay in alignment stay focused right now gossip is strong in december 8th of december is gonna have a strong gossipy vibe frustrations oversharing because we have uh, mercury squaring jupiter okay but now a lot of things can be cleared. A lot of truth will come out. So you can start the year, um, you know, full on. It's also about having fun. So it's not like completely not having fun. Just be aware that what you say to your friends, also about your money, right? We have Jupiter in the second house, squaring the sun and uh, the moon. So be aware what you say about your money, how much you're earning. That's not everybody's business, okay? Um, money is still good. However, Jupiter will move into your third house, backing up your communication skills. Uh, maybe you're buying a vehicle or you're planning to buy one. But Neptune is gonna kinda let the money flow to your fingers. So make sure that you spend money, either do some tiny donations or spend money on like spiritual causes. So you're not dropping everything out of your hands. Yeah. Let me get you a card, Aquarius. North Node and Uranus keep being in your fourth house. So you might feel a bit restless at home. Some of you are working from home as well. Or feeling like a disruptions in your family. Ooh, some of you are planning to study something new. 
with Jupiter soon moving into your third house. Maybe it's something that, something new you want to do, new job, or something extra you would like to offer. And you're gonna like do research or study something so you can execute this new thing. You could be uh, pregnant and you're studying about you know, what it means to be a father or mother. Yeah, a lot of big changes happening in your life. Like try to ground yourself it's also like like weird situations in your family like some of your family members may be in a midlife crisis or yeah changes happening could be a sudden move on your end as well uh suddenly selling your house bringing you an insane amount of money this could also be happening when jupiter goes into the fourth house that will be next year you can check out my full video on 2023 but uh, yeah, this is my uh, message for you, my lovely Aquarius. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below how this resonates with you. I also do private readings. You find my email in the description box and I hope to see you next time. Bless you so much, my lovely Aquarius. Bye-bye. Let's move on to the next sign of Pisces. So Pisces, how is life going? Okay, so we have Gemini for you in your fourth house and it's in conjunction, the moon in Gemini is in conjunction with Mars retrograde in your fourth house. So there might be some things coming up, some arguments coming up with your family, some things unspoken. They could be arguing about a choice you're making about a job. They're like, is that something you truly want or you feel like they're not supporting you as you wish they would support you? Okay, so there is a bit of a dispute happening with that. Like, eh, like I expected a bit more support, okay? Um, yeah, like some of you definitely switched jobs or getting a new job or going back to an old job, that's possible as well. And people are kind of um, having their opinions about that. So stay in alignment with yourself. Right now, it's a time where people overshare gossip secrets all these kind of things in the whole month of december by the way so stay in tune with your own self so you don't let other people influence you and the things you're doing you still have jupiter in your sign rounding up your luck right you had a new cycle new ideas you planted new seeds uh new expansion of where you want to be next Jupiter will go into your second house, backing up any money problems, problems, <laughs> problems that have been there. So it will give you a boost to your money. But for now, it's like this last boost of optimism to break through certain situations. And uh, yeah, it's like you will shine and find ways to make more money or get a raise or stuff like that by the end of December. Um, let me get you a card. North Node is in the third house. So some of you definitely are studying something scientific as well. Scientific, astrology, ways to make money. Maybe you're really good at finances or communicating how to, you know, communicating to people how to get more finances. You could be like some kind of blogger or an online personality but this could also be that you're starting to become just that so there is some karma that you are breaking now you have saturn in the 12th house right so there is a big cycle that needs to be released from your um from your life and aquarius is about communities it's about freedom so you have to break free from a certain situation that you know is no longer serving you some old patterns and there could be like, uh, could be related to your father, but it could also be that people with a strong uh, Saturn or Capricorn or like males in your life are representing something of a karma that you have to break. That you know, like, hmm, this no longer suits me, right? I need to change this pattern. This keeps repeating. What should I do? So... Oh, I hear it. I need to get you another card, Pisces. Okay. 
abundance yes abundance is coming your way this is also the card of the fish <laughs> but in this deck it means abundance but hey this is also the fish so swimming the direction like maybe you see all the other people are going this direction and you go this direction and that's your choice keep in mind that is your choice you decide which direction to go and no one will tell you otherwise because you know what's right for you and you don't need to no longer give in to what other people want for you so you're breaking free of these patterns i'm so proud of you pisces wishing you all the best all the luck ever in the world and um bless you all the best